Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Klipsch R51PM powered bookshelf speakers. And as usual, we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing, do a little sound test, and I'll give you my feedback on what I think about these speakers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box before we jump into the unboxing. I'll try to do this on my desk. Um, hopefully I have enough space on this thing. Now the box itself is pretty big. But I will read you some of the things that are on it. Just from uh, the, the looks of it, uh, you know, they tell you like um, it's smartphone re uh, smartphone ready. It's got Bluetooth connectivity, turntable ready, which just means it's got RCA inputs in the back. You can hook it up to your computer, easy and set up, and it's got dynamic based you know, base EQ. Uh, we'll go over that later on. And they point out that no receivers needed. And then on this side, it's got a little picture of what all the back is. Let's go ahead and do an unboxing of the Klipsch R51PM and let's see what's inside the box. We're gonna have to flip this thing on its belly. All right, so as soon as you open it up, you've got the user manual. Um, comes with this rubber feet. It's got a remote control and look, batteries included. Will you look at that? Then you have some additional cable. All right, now that we have this out of the box, they do include a bunch of cables, um, uh, and you know, that's your USB uh, connection if you wanna hook it up to your you know, USB A to B. That's for audio. Then you have your power cord. Then you have your optic cable. This is nice. Good of them to include all these cables. You don't need to buy them. And this is your left and right. You could easily use your own uh, wires. I mean, these are kind of thin. Um, you could probably use something a lot uh, fatter. Now, what I like about these cables is that they are solder coated, which makes it a lot easier for you to connect and uh, take them in and out of speakers as you need. It's a pretty long cable. I don't know how big that is, but good, good stuff. And then you have the owner's manual. Go ahead and take a look at this thing. These are your rubber feet. That's cool. And you have the remote control. That's pretty nice. It's nice and big. At least something you can press. Feels a lot like um, Amazon Fire TV remote size. And this is something about LED power, volume up and down, mute, sub. And let's take a look at the owner's manual. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's got, you know, everything. It gives you all the details. Let's you know what's what, back of it, how to connect it, how to hook it up. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the speaker itself. Um, before I do that, let's go over the specs. Uh, frequency response on these things are 68 hertz to 21 kilohertz, which may seem like, you know, uh, it only drops to 68 hertz, but there's a different frequency response when it comes to bass extension. So what Klipsch call dynamic bass, exp bass extension, which can drop your low frequency to 49 hertz, at 35% volume. So you gotta go a little louder just to get that the low frequency bass, which makes sense because when you're listening to, let's say with 10% volume, I mean, you're listening to at a very you know low key. You get the idea, your mids are gonna be strong, um, lows, not that much, but when you crank up the volume a little more, you'll get the bass that you're looking for. Uh, total output, um, volume output is about 107 decibels. System power is about 120 uh, in total power, uh, 240 watts at max. So, speaker number one. Ugh, I gotta hold this thing like a baby, cradle it in my arms. So, let's go and take a look. The grill is pretty nice. Uh, Klipsch makes a really nice grill. It looks really pretty. It's got that, you know, um, rose gold uh, logo. The corners are super sharp. If you're not careful, you could puncture yourself. If you have kids and you put these things somewhere that are, uh, and a kid runs into it, they're gonna puncture their head. But overall, the build quality is superb. I mean, this thing is solid. Let's go ahead and open the grill. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> You'll notice there are no holes in the front. That's because this grill, they're magnetic. Isn't that cool? It's got little magnets on it, so if you take off the grill and you want to leave them as is, they look really nice. It's got that copper tone. All clip speakers are like this. It's got that copper looking thing. 
Oh, this is pretty cool. I like the mesh grill. It's a double layered. No, it's just single layered. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite nice. You have uh, the horn tweeter. Uh, this thing is about an inch, uh, which is nice. And they get very loud. These are very sharp, uh, which is really good. It makes the voice and it makes all the high frequencies very, very clear and very crisp. It's got a 5.25 inch speaker, um, copper span woofer, uh, which will play your mids and your lows. So the two together will produce really high quality sound. Let's go and take a look at the other speaker. Um, same thing, magnetic grill. Nothing t that fancy, but it's kind of a nice touch. Uh, on the back, you have, well, let me get a closer look. On the back, you have all your components. You got the USB audio, you got optic audio. Yeah, this is interesting, it comes with a subwoofer, kind of like the edifiers. Uh, it got, it's got a subwoofer. It does not have a subwoofer, uh, like a cutoff or a crossover cutoff knob. It just doesn't, um, which is fine because if you have a subwoofer that does have that crossover cutoff knob, then you can use that, especially if you have a clip subwoofer or something or any other. Uh, then you have your auxiliary input or is that output? I don't know. I think that's input. Uh, then you have your RCA inputs and, the, and a little switch. You can use this switch to switch between line input or phono oh well, that's for your turntable and then you have your little volume knob but like i said it does come with its own remote control so you probably don't have to mess with this too much the volume knob kind of just keeps turning it's one of those infinite turn volume knobs and then you have your speaker um you know uh, right speaker out i think i mean left speaker out so again uh, the cable that it comes with which is right here uh, you can kind of use that to connect to the other speaker and you have your ac adapter or uh, AC in cable. This right here, this is an interesting choice. This is actually a grounding port. So amp, I mean, it, it, it's an amp. It'll produce some sort of electricity and it might produce a lot of static around here. So one thing you can do is you can hook up a grounding wire to this and connect it to like, let's say your desk or wherever um, and ground the sucker. So that, that, that's kind of cool. But yeah, um, what do you say we hook them up and kind of just do some sound test and hear them for the first time. I've never heard of these, so kind of looking forward to it. All right, so um, I got everything hooked up. Um, power on, the light comes on. Change to optic. I guess that's changed it. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Turn it on, set it, forget it. What do you say we play some tracks? All right, so um, I found this one website where I can play some copyright-free music, or royalty-free music. So you know my channel won't get in trouble for anything. So I'll play some tracks from there, um, and I'll give you my feedback on wh what I think about them. <laughs> That sounds really good. I mean, um, I can definitely, I, I did increase the volume a little and you know, the thing about increasing the volume above 35% lets you hear that uh, low frequency at 49 Hertz. 
That's pretty damn amazing. Um, it's, that, that, that sounds really, really great. I mean, it's crisp, it's clear, and I can feel the vibration of the uh, bass uh, to my floor. Uh, you know, just like I looked at the Klipsch um, Pro Media 2.1. I mean, uh, yeah, these are some solid, solid speakers, solid bush, bookshelf speakers. They're loud, and the more you increase the volume, there's no distortion. Not that you can hear anything. Let's play something else. Oh wow! The clarity on this thing is amazing. That, that hits really hard. That feels good. I mean, I can, I'm just imagining that if you hook up a subwoofer to this thing, they will sound amazing. Wow. All right, let's play a movie trailer. All right, uh, there's nothing new. Um, actually, no, there is something new. Uh, Mandalorian season two is coming out. Woohoo! let's play that. So one thing I do want to, uh, you know, point out is that you know, even though there's no treble and uh, bass control on this thing, the app itself does a really good job of sorting out, you know, how much audio, how much, uh, you know, high frequency and low frequency needs to go on what speakers. Um, and and you, you feel that as soon as you increase the volume to like, you know, above uh, whatever you want, uh, but at low volume, you might not get the bass that much, but at high volume, sure enough, you get it. Um, and it really depends on your audio source, where the audio is coming from, and whatever you're, what you're playing. Show me the one whose safety deemed such destruction. You must reunite it with its own kind. Where? This you must determine. The songs of eons past tell of battles between Mandalore the Great and an order of sorcerers called Jedi. You expect me to search the galaxy and deliver this creature to a race of enemy sorcerers? This is the way. You know this is no place for a child. That sounds really good, really, really good. Definitely, you know, worth the purchase. I mean, I didn't buy these for myself. I bought them just so I can do a review. Um, but yeah, man, that that was that was good. That that, that was exciting. My my heart rate. I mean, I uh, I'm pumped. Seriously, uh, this thing, these speakers are really good. I I can't wait until I hook this up with my clip subwoofer, which I'll do another video of, and then I'll do a comparison with the edifiers to really show a difference between premium desktop uh, bookshelf speakers versus you know budget bookshelf speakers now that i put the cover back on you can't even see the little red light i mean you, you can see it in person but on the camera it doesn't show up good stuff let me know what you think that's it for this video we'll keep it short um if you have any questions concerns comments feel free to uh leave them uh thanks so much for subscribing really appreciate uh you know your comments i do enjoy the conversation back and forth um yeah you guys take care i'll see you guys on the next one